All right, welcome back. A part of celebrating Hispanic heritage is celebrating Hispanic and Latino individuals who make a difference in our community right here in East Tennessee. Carla Mendez graduated from UT's College of Law back in May. The law grad who took the long path to citizenship now dreams of aiding other immigrants. Things deteriorated really quickly and things started getting really dangerous and there was food scarcity and it was just it was not a situation that my mom wanted her two girls to grow up in and she wanted to give us a future. At 13 years old, Carla Mendez, her sister and their mother fled Venezuela as basic necessities to survive became scarce to say the least. Imagine going to Kroger and having all the shelves set up just like they are right now but having like one of the end caps half like five pounds of rice and like that's literally the entire what the entire supermarket would have and you would have people line up for hours like they would get up at four o'clock in the morning and they um, just go get in line the supermarket wouldn't open until 11. Her journey to the mother and lawyer she's now become was not an easy one. There is no legal way to immigrate you can't just be like hey I want to live here legally like take my papers and my money. At 13 Mendez found strength with and through her family. She learned English worked countless side jobs for years eventually putting herself through school. This past April 11 years later Mendez finally became a U.S. citizen. As she takes her past and finds her path, it's only fueling her dream of aiding other immigrants. There's a lot of people that are dying every day because they don't have access to medicine, that are struggling um, to even find something to eat. Little kids, like, literally attacking a trash truck to, like, pick up bones and stuff to take home and make soup like it should not be that way while Carla and her family were able to find a way in legally she recognizes the struggles of countless others who were not I am all for legal immigration it would made no one happier than illegal immigrants to be legal immigrants like illegal immigrants are not here like oh I'm just gonna break the law because that's what I want to do they're doing because they have no other choice it's a life or death situation as she walks across that stage and accepts her law degree she's still finding a way to say thank you to the village it took. <laughs> so she was born the second semester of my second year of law school. For Mendez, that village included not only family and friends, but the entire law school at UT. I mean, she became a part of the law school. Literally every professor that I've ever had since she was born, she's been in their class. They've held her, the babies at her. Um, all the professors have been really great. Having Camila throughout her law school journey has changed her trajectory in life after she herself at the age of 13 helped navigate the murky waters of a path to citizenship. I guess um, now I have someone looking up to me. So. so I guess I have someone to set an example for now. What are your hopes for her in light of everything? Oh, she's going to be a Supreme Court Justice. <laughs> We caught up with Carla on Friday. She tells us she will be taking the bar exam in February. Good best of luck to her. Still to come, as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage, a local organization working to help Hispanic and Latino individuals strive in the workforce. We're sitting down with Centro Hispano de East Tennessee, learning more about the challenges faced by the Hispanic and Latino community here in East Tennessee when we come back.